This is a Tigersaurus, my friend Kurt's amp. It's a Southwest Technical Products amplifier. It was uh, released as a kit. You could also get it pre-built. And it was released as a magazine article, Radio Electronics, most of his uh, projects were. Daniel Meyer was the engineer. So unlike the metal film resistors where we burned them at several times the rated power, and they still held their value, even though they were pretty burned up. Carbon composition resistors are very fragile. Any little overload and they'll change value on you. So here my friend Kurt is pulling four big power resistors that all measure real high. The 100 ohm resistors measured like about 150 and the uh, 47s measured like 60 something or something crazy. Yep, 57. So, okay. so they're way out of tolerance, even for 10 percenters. And he also found a little thing that might be, might have been floating, which is uh, might fix our problem. We had a uh, little oscillation in this amp. Come on. And the other 47 ohm resistor in the amp is uh, measuring 60.69 here. That's all it is. Hey, I'm emotionally attached to it. And the final 100 ohm resistor is only 20% out of tolerance, 22% out of tolerance. Well, last look at our Tigersaurus. My friend has to leave. He uh, wants to get ahead of the weather. We were going to stay another day yet, but the weather is scary, so he's flying. He's fleeing the scary weather. Anyway, uh, we still have an oscillation problem with this dog. And then some. <laughs> and, and then some. It's kind of strange. It may be a bias and an oscillation problem. I think the oscillation is making the bias go crazy, though. We changed uh, four resistors, those carbon resistors, with some better resistors. Um, I know they deliberately use carbon core in some places. Well, he's not winding a coil around them in this amp, so I don't know why. But, uh, replaced a lot. Most of the capacitors on the, on the board have been replaced now. It's kind of a mystery. There was some kind of a spill substance on this board though, that we've been struggling with getting rid of, kind of like Shades of My Yamaha story. So we'll pack this one up and another day I guess. It's kind of a shame we can't keep working on it.